the philosophy department at St. Charles Borromeo Seminary uh, helped form my mind in truth and it helped give me the tools uh, to help form others' minds as well. The program of classes uh, was very academically rigorous. It is grounded in Thomistic and Aristotelian thought. Um, we began with ancient philosophy. Um, and unlike modern philosophy, the ancients, they, they looked to reality, how things actually are. And they started with nature, with just observing things around them. And that led to the human person. And then how the mind works, epistemology, how is it the men actually think? And then out of the, the ancient Greeks, you have this development of, of logic. And then also the, the, you have ethics, um, a morality, how men need to act in order to reach their end, their natural end, uh, that's built in to, to human nature. Then our studies took us to, to the Middle Ages, and of course the great Saint Thomas Aquinas. Um, but the big dispute of the Middle Ages was of course the relationship between faith and reason. Reason and philosophy are the handmaidens to, to faith, to the study of theology. Uh, they are not opposed, faith and reason. And, and St. Thomas Aquinas is the prime example of this. He used philosophy, he took it as far as it could go in his study of theology. And from this, God brought a good, beautiful, true theology contained in the Summa Theologica. We live in a, in a time where, where, once again, faith and reason have seemed to split. Christians are often accused of being fideistic, and rightfully so, as, as many are. But Catholics are not to be fideistic. We are not a faith alone religion. God gave us a mind and God wants us to use it. Uh, and the study of philosophy helps to ensure that history does not repeat itself in this area. Then after we studied the ancient Greeks and we moved into the, mid the Middle Ages, uh, our, the study of, of philosophy at St. Charles went to, to modern philosophy. And while modern philosophy is not as important maybe as the, as the ancients uh, and the medievals, it is important to see how thought has taken a downward spiral. As we know, history does tend to repeat itself and knowing the errors of modern philosophy helps to protect one from the past. Also studying the errors of modern philosophy helps one to correct uh, the errors in their own thinking. And that was one of the things that I personally took away from my study of modern philosophy is, you know, like everybody else, I'm a, I'm a product of my culture and, and studying these errors is like, oh, that's, I've, I've been thinking about this incorrectly. Um, and so it's a more solid foundation in true Aristotelian and Thomistic thinking. The faculty at St. Charles is also, I thought, top-notch, very academically rigorous. Um, all of them are grounded uh, in Aristotelian and Thomistic thought. Um, but my favorite thing about them is that they, they take their job of forming future priests very seriously. Uh, they know how much rides on, on them doing their job well. And they took that same concern for the future of the church and put it in this program modeled for religious. Um, they make this program work for religious because they know how, how important it is. Uh, and I greatly appreciated that. I take this degree of uh, Masters of Arts and Philosophical Studies with me from St. Charles and I, I take it back to my community, the Sisters of the Immaculate Heart of Mary in Wichita. Um, I hope to use it. I hope to use it for my sisters, uh, for myself, for my own formation, uh, and also um, as I teach in the high school classroom.